Hello everyone, we're up to part 15 of Let's Play Dark Souls. We um, just finished Sen's Fortress, we killed the Iron Golem, and uh, it was another pretty straightforward fight. Um, so now, we only have one place to go. Um, you might be thinking maybe over there, but uh, the key is actually going to be with this uh, ring of light here. So let's go ahead and examine it and uh, see what happens. Alrighty, and here we are in Anorlando, the city of the gods. Um, I always thought those gargoyles, um, you know, they kind of look like uh, Mr. Burns from The Simpsons to me, just with the brainy head and pointy nose. <laughs> but um, anyway, if we talk to him, he'll take us back down. It's pretty much the same cutscene in reverse, not really worth showing off. Um, but yeah, let's uh, proceed onward and uh, see what we can find. definitely want to take in the view here. This is uh, probably the best view you're going to get of this place, honestly. Um, there's somewhere up over there that might be a little higher, um, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, in the meantime, now this guy right here uh, might scare you, but if you just sort of keep your distance, they don't really care too much. They just sort of stand and watch, stand and guard over things. Uh, we'll be back, but we, uh, as you can see, since we're holding a lot of souls, I kind of want to get to the next bonfire before I really mess around and somehow get myself killed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna run now because everything is so far apart in this part of the game. Um, probably my only complaint of the area. But yeah, for once, things are actually looking like well kept and pretty as opposed to all dark and gross like usual. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and level up. Um, I believe, yeah, let's get to 20 vitality to sort of top that off. Our strength and dexterity are looking good. Um, how about we start getting our faith up I like that. So we'll do that and I won't use a soul item because we have a little bit of killing to do and then uh, we'll earn some souls after that but uh, before we do that let's go ahead and talk to this mysterious looking person. Well you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. So yeah, um, she's going to sort of send us along the way. Just tell us, you know, move on ahead and continue the quest. Um, but let's see what else she has to say. Hmm, what is it? What am I? Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. So yeah, she's also a bonfire keeper. Um, she's obviously keeping this bonfire right here. I don't know if she has anything else to say. The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames meet. Anything else? If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. Yeah, that's a good line at the end there. Sums up bonfires pretty neatly. Just, uh, they're here to chill. Um, but yeah, she does bring up a few good points. Um, you know, she mentioned the bonfire keepers will never meet. And you might wonder why, what'll happen? Will the world end? Uh, no, it's just as simple as, uh, bonfires gotta to tend to their fires. Which means, uh, if they met up, someone's not at their fire. Um, but, that's sort of like deductive reasoning. Either way, she's, uh, as you saw, she had the option to reinforce your Estus in case you found yourself a, uh, 
another Firekeeper Soul, and like the one you pulled up from Bight Blight Town, if you didn't upgrade that by Quelana, she would have. Uh, she's your option. So anyway, um, you want to be careful because if you aggro both of them, that's when things can get a little tricky. But otherwise, these guys ain't so bad. Uh, now, obviously, they will hit very hard if they do manage to catch you. But uh, it's a, oh, yeah, shield bash. As long as you don't get hit, they're not so bad. And don't worry, they won't. If they fall on you, they don't do do damage as uh, as cool as that would be. Uh, so let's go ahead and kill this other guy and see what they're guarding. Yeah, they go down real easy. Um, so this one right here, it's one of the other. So uh, this is actually a great point. To, thing to point at. Um, so take a look at this, right? Notice the chain in particular. And then look at the chain on this guy. See how they're shaped differently? And also, if you notice, this one's kind of well, almost breathing. Yeah. So uh, that should sort of explain what's going on. So we're going to just take the initiative here. And oh, wasn't quite able to kill him. This will be a good showcase of how mimics fight. As you can see, they got really long reach. And I want him to do the... So he's got the football kick there, and then... Ooh, come on. If you really keep your distance... Yep, I think I'm like a little <laughs> jumping roundhouse kick. Um, and they will try to grab you and eat you again, so you do have to watch out for that. That'll do a lot of damage, but otherwise they're pretty pretty easy. So, Crystal Halberd, that's um, it's a cool weapon. It's, uh, it's just an upgraded normal Halberd made crystal. And if you upgrade a weapon to be crystal type, it's going to behave like those crystal weapons that uh, Zomhal was selling, where they're really strong, but they're temporary, like you can't repair them. Um, so just keep that in mind. But they give you that here, just in case you need the extra firepower. So um, let's look at this uh, round boy right here. Uh, keep him in the back of your head for later. Um, so over here is actually to an area we can't access. I'm actually going to go and just go there because I want to show you guys something real quick. So yeah, if you just take him out, and we'll um, work our way up the stairs here. You're going to see up this nice nature path over there. Yeah, see, look, there's a big yellow fog wall, something that we haven't seen yet. And um, that basically means that this is uh, sealed off. We can't go in here yet. There's no way we can examine. Sealed by the Great Lord's power. So yeah, we uh, we can't go there now. Um, but just sort of remember this spot, and um, it'll make more sense <laughs> down the road. Uh, so this is the place I was talking about that might have a better view. Uh, looks like it doesn't. <laughs> so those original stairs, that's where you want to really stop to smell the roses. Uh, so we actually do have to walk all the way back to that original room since there is more stuff to kill. I did to uh, fast forward this part, see if I can get the ship sound effect, which I haven't played yet. Because, oh my god, just, just like this, look how long you have to run. I don't know if there's anywhere else in the game with as much just flat space as this. And um, besides making your... Now, if you make your equipment load lighter, you'll run faster. And if you use a green blossom or chloranthi ring and all that, you can uh, increase your stamina recovery speed, which will indirectly let you run more. But there's not too much you can do. In general, Dark Souls is a very slow-paced game. And wow, he actually nicked me there. Oh boy. There you go. See, like, these guys are so slow that you got plenty of time. Ah! Now, our heavy armor is helping us there, because I got a little bit worried. Alright, so with those guys dead, um, I don't think this is a mimic. No, it's not. <laughs> so, in here, we'll just find some more Demon Titanite. And let's take a moment and observe this, uh cooler statue with a spear. Again, keep that in the back of your mind. Um, I will go and rest at the bonfire real quick, because 20,000 souls is, is quite a bit. And this is actually a decent spot to grind for just souls. Um, if you go ahead and kill all the guys in that room and then run back and kill all the guys in there, you can get yourself like 9,000 souls a pop, which uh, takes about like two or three minutes there. So that can definitely add up if you got, you know, like an hour to kill or something. Uh, so let's just again keep our faith going up. And let's actually take on the level now. So if we go over here... We get a lot of sun in our eyes. But it's a nice sunset, so it's not too bad. 
This is like a nice city to live in, by the way. Um, but anyway, step on the circle and it'll take you down. There's uh, another similar to Sense Fortress, just very convoluted ways to get around in this city. Like, we're dedicating an entire building to some fancy spiral thing. Although, I mean, I guess there's some decent utility here, right? Like, it's an elevator, it's a way to get up. Um, but okay, so here's another gargoyle. Um, and we're gonna notice a theme of old bosses becoming just common enemies in later areas. But we are much better equipped. And we got the gargoyle's halberd, which is pretty cool. I don't think we got that last time. Um, but it's just an okay halberd. I don't know if there's anything special about it. So around here, I think we have to drop down. Yeah, right here we'll find some treasure. And if we open it, we're gonna find some more demon type knight. A lot of the treasure at this part of the game is just like bonus stuff, nothing that you really need, but cool things to pick up. So now if we go through the little little alcove here, you'll notice some. Um, now at this point in the game, right, like I was like confused on where the heck to go. Because um, if we pressed onwards, you'll notice over there that it just sort of, it's like a ledge that doesn't end. Or that does end in nothing. Um, and then you, you go up and down all over the place where it takes forever because you don't know, because everything's so big. Uh, where you want to go is here, right? Um, and if you're online, you'll see a lot of messages <laughs> to sort of guide you. And I thought there was a developer message that we'd be able to see, but they didn't even do that. <laughs> so just sort of parkour your way up here jump off. We're gonna find a little crack in the window that we can sneak in. So I'll be careful because you're gonna have this guy try to ambush you. Oh my god, I messed that up. Over here we got another who we can just dodge pretty easily. Alright, now we're inside uh, some structure. I don't know if it's a cathedral or what, but uh, we're gonna have to take the way upwards, which is kind of sketchy because if you notice um, we have a lot of path <laughs> but we can't we have to be really careful right because um, you know one wrong step and we're falling a long way and we got some friends up here who are gonna give us a bit of a hard time um, just make sure you have a shield because oh, but you gotta be careful oh because don't do what that guy did just fall in splat um, anyway, we're gonna smack this right here to drop it. Um, you'll see there is an item on the chandelier. Don't know exactly how it got there. The guy probably fell and just got impaled on one of the candles. Um, but if we work our way over here... Ooh, again, just be careful. I like to sort of put myself right here usually because um, you do get a little bit more surface area with these ang parts that are sort of angled up, which makes things a little bit safer. But let's see, this is. I, I hate this because when you do get hit. Oh, I wasn't locked on. <laughs> you have to be careful because each little hit will knock you back slightly. And wow, we made it. Awesome. <laughs> um, now there is. Okay, see that treasure chest over there? Um, I do want to get over there, and I think the way to do that is you gotta drop down from up here to down here. Hopefully I don't die. Okay, yeah, we're good. Um, so we're gonna have a statue of this is Guinevere, I believe, um, the daughter of Lord Gwyn. She's like the goddess of fertility too, and all that good stuff. Um, so obviously, you know, this being the city of the gods, we're gonna see some. Oh, I didn't know about this guy. That like scared me. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's just you know your typical um, Roman. St slash Greek style big thick woman of fertility <laughs> kind of goddess we will definitely be uh, seeing more of down the road and to actually get out of here um, I think if we drop down over here we can make our way over here to a similar ledge and staircase and yeah this will this will take us to where we gotta go and ready for this guy. I was only half expecting. Um, but yeah, right here we're gonna find a fog wall. Uh, no boss, just progress. 
which you know, if you uh, if you're spending a lot of time searching for where to go, it would definitely be um, well earned. And now we're going to be able to uh, fix our problem. We just go ahead and pull the lever. And down we go. Okay, so um, that is going to bring another gargoyle who was just waiting over there. So let's go ahead and take him out. Strong. Oh, it didn't do it. Ah! Got behind me. Man, my timing is so bad. Alright. No one likes it when you spam the same attack. Alright, he, he knows what works on me now. <laughs> Can you just not for one second? Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah! Well, that's my fault for not learning, I guess. So anyway, like usual, I'll uh, meet you back here. Okay, round two, let's go. I'm gonna get my souls till after. That's how confident I am, which is... Oh no. Woo! Didn't actually dodge that one. Alright, let's be smart. Oh no! I'm getting lucky with the roll timing here. Normally this doesn't give me so much trouble. But, you know, once something kills you, you just, you'll get naturally psyched out and fearful of it. Okay, there we go. He's dead, he's dead. Woo. Oh, and we got the shield and the helmet. Uh, which I think we already have a helmet. But, okay, well, that's... Thanks for the message completely blocking. <laughs> um, I think my souls are down here. Or not. Where are my souls? I died on the staircase. It wasn't. It's not glitching up there. Where are my souls? Alright, well, either way, we have to go down. Um, maybe we'll find them down here. That's kind of annoying. I mean, I only had one humanity and a few thousand souls, so not the end of the world, but still kind of salty that everything is just missing on us. But um, anyway, over here, we're going to see the uh, the bottom of the big cathedral we were in. And we're going to see a lot of these painting guardians. So let's just go commit a massacre here and just clear out the room. Oh boy. Three at once. Right, we are getting like the matrix dodges on these knives though. <laughs> We had a few close calls up above as well. Mm, I'm not sure. Did a guy get squished under here? I don't think so. Yeah, that would have been pretty hilarious. Yeah. Okay, whoa. Yeah, these guys know how to dodge. Um, anyway, let's see what we got on the chandelier. We're going to get a great magic weapon. It's a cool sorcery. Um, Griggs was selling just normal magic weapon and all that does is it'll boost it'll, pr it'll put a buff on your weapon for uh to do magic damage but uh that only works on standard weapons so we couldn't do that to our black knight sword um you have to do it you know it's things like the halberd or just a short sword just like normal boring weapons anything with a name is typically like a special weapon so anyway, let's... Oh, okay, this is the last one. Well, oh, had to nick me. Um, over here in the corner, what we're going to find is the Black Iron Armor. And if it looks familiar, we actually saw it last episode. We had a great sword and iron great shield. Um, yeah, this this is Tarkus, who fell down here. Um, the story is kind of hilarious, but sad at the same time. And we've got this badass guy who can just solo the Iron Golem. But he gets here, because, you know, him being, you know, another chosen undead, he, uh, he slipped on these rafters because of his heavy armor and just fell and died. Really sad, but also kind of funny. So we're going to carry the torch, get his stuff, um, 
In fact, I might be able to put on his chest piece and still. Because, yeah, we're, we have a, we're kind of underweight for mid-rolling here. And this is some good heavy armor. Um, so, yeah, we can mid-roll with that. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Um, I think I'll also put on his helmet, if that doesn't put me over either. Which is right here. And that might just put me over. Yeah. So maybe if we put on some slightly less heavy pants, like the hard leather. Or, you know what, I kind of just want my normal helmet. <laughs> And there we go. Okay, I mean, that looks kind of cool, right? Uh, the lighting is kind of weird. Let's get a view right here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rock that. Neck looks a little... a little stuffy, but <laughs> it'll be fine. The stats, our stats got way better, which is more what I care about. And we can still mid-roll, so no reason not to. Um, but anyway, to sort of talk about what happened here, right? Like, we summoned Tarkus, so how is he dead here? Um, so this kind of is getting into lore territory of the nature of Dark Souls and what exactly is going on here, but if you remember back when we first talked to Solaire, he said something about, like, time is convoluted and our worlds are merging, things like that. Um, I think the best way to explain it is that, the, like, the grand world of Dark Souls is kind of like a, uh, multi-dimensional kind of thing where you have all these parallel realities and um, in each one you know there's a chosen undead or something like that and even though they're all in their own unique universe um, they can sort of the dimensions can kind of mingle together and I believe Lordran in general is almost like a, a nexus or hub you can think of where like a lot of dimensions are crossing paths so the soapstone, that um, item that I never use because I'm playing single player, um, that's if you, in the world of Dark Souls, right, so don't think of it as a multiplayer item, think of it as like a literal like thing that some knight in armor would have. He, what he does is he writes his name on the floor, and then that message, almost like, you know, Rick's portal gun, will uh, cross the dimensions, and anyone that taps it and summons them, then like it links their worlds, and now you're connected. And then that sort of explains all the other multiplayer stuff in the game. So, you know, NPCs are specific players related to the story, uh, or not players, characters related to the story itself. Whereas all the humans you're playing with are just normal people. But you're all just chosen undeads, or just um, undeads in general. You're not necessarily all chosen undeads. Um, but yeah, on occasion your worlds will link, and that's how you see each other. And also, time is uh, sort of all over the place, so... Tarkus, he wrote down his soapstone a while ago in that room. <laughs> These gargoyles are not as friendly, by the way, as you can tell, as the ones who so nicely took us here. Um, but yeah, so time is also convoluted. Oh, wow, I didn't jump there. That's what got me. Uh, fun fact, by the way, if you happen to you have the sorcery, if you're being a mage, um, the magic missile, or whatever it's called, uh, you can actually shoot the guy over here, and it'll knock him down. <laughs> Just a little thing that I remembered once. Um, so yeah, the convoluted time, I think, sort of covered all the main points there. As far as explaining what exactly is going on. So yeah. Um, Tarkus, long ago, wrote down his sign. He went off a few minutes later and died. Um, but us, now in our time, we were able to uh, summon him for some help. Okay, it's just now, if you'll notice, I'm specifically trying to fight these guys, not in the middle. Um, come out here now that he's almost dead. But up there! Uh, see that See that guy way up there? Um, and he should see me. Oh, that guy too. Um, you'll see some stuff's coming our way. Yeah! <laughs> these guys are shooting uh, big arrows at us. Uh, this is a very infamous part of the game. Um, I'm gonna do my best to show you guys how to do it. This is attempt one. So, right off the gate, don't be scared, just run up. Uh, usually those arrows, yeah, half the time they're gonna hit into the side like that and not even be a problem. Once you're here, you can stop, you can breathe for a second. Um, and then sort of like, stand right here, and you want to time it as soon as an arrow lands, just run, keep moving. Uh, they're bad at tracking. If you're moving, they won't hit you. Just keep running, keep running, don't be afraid. Um, once you run up on the guy over here, uh, there's a pillar behind you, so as long as you stand like right here, you'll be fine. 
just keep your arrow raised, be careful, get really close. We want him to stop shooting arrows, yeah. And so now, we can just parry him. And just like that. Whew, so, not so bad. And as you can see, the guy is um, not able to shoot us. I'm not going to go over there because the other guy's not as easy to dispatch. And he's only guarding a soul item, which um, I can live without. But uh, a lot of times, you know, you're going to have people tell you, Oh, this part's so hard, I can never get past it. They're like, ah, there's two people in the world, the people that died on this on their first try, and liars. But, um, but I swear to you, on my first try, I actually did get past this part. And I couldn't even parry at the time, so honestly, I don't even remember how I killed him. Um, but I did survive. And it wasn't until later, when I started reading stuff about Dark Souls, that I learned just how nasty those guys could be. And then, just like, as, and then I think I got sucked out, because multiple times afterwards is when I ended up dying <laughs> on that part. Um, but anyway, we're inside, we made it. And I did it on my first try on camera, which is cool. Um, before you go off running too much, come up to this door here. And we're going to see this right here. And... If we light the bonfire, and we go ahead and rest. We are now ready to take on Anne Orlando proper. Um, rather, the inside part. Um, but yeah, that was going to do it. We're going we're gonna to stop here. And uh, call it an episode. Um, we got some armor. We cleared out the area. We got past the archers on our first try. But we still got killed by the gargoyles. But, you know, what can you do? You can't have it all. <laughs> Either way, as usual guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!